interested to change your life or are you committed to change your life? There is a difference between interest and commitment. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever seen any negative baby? I bet you cannot. Nobody has seen it. Then why we became so negatively groomed? Because we grow, as we grow, we get conditions. And the conditions, the hypnosis starts from our parents. Then the, it is teacher, then the religion, then friends, then the atmosphere. Dr. Bruce Lipton, one of the very highly known molecular biologist and former professor of medicine, he has done a huge research on belief and he has written a big book called Biology of Belief. And there he explained, there is a new science called epigenetics, which has shown that our genes are in fact controlled and manipulated by how our minds perceive and interpret our environment. The new findings are great news because it means that we can change many things about the way we are including our health by changing how we interpret events and situations which may happen to us. We all know conscious mind and subconscious mind. Nowadays it is very very popular. Everybody knows it. There is a conscious mind that can think freely and create new ideas out of the box. This mind is very basically logical. As I am talking to you and you are listening to me, it is basically exchange of conscious minds. But then there is a subconscious mind which is basically a supercomputer loaded with database of program behaviors, most of which we acquire before we reach the age of 6 to 7. This subconscious work without the knowledge of the conscious mind. In our unconscious mind, which is actually making our decisions for us, and it seems the unconscious mind is running us on its automatic pilot mode, 95% of the time we are on the autopilot mode. Dr. Lipton's study shows that unconscious mind can operate at 40 million bits of data per second, whereas the conscious mind can process only 40 bits per second. So you can well fathom out that how powerful is your unconscious mind. And you have a supercomputer, but you have an old operating system. And the good news is that you can change it. For transformational performance, you need to talk to your subconscious mind, which is 